Okay, so I have two more examples for us. Next, I'm going to establish the identity that tan of omega, what will we write? This is omega, plus cotangent of omega over secant of omega cosecant of omega is 1. So if I wanted to start by doing this, I need to change into sines because all of these can be rewritten as sines and cosines. So if I have tangent of theta, that becomes sine of theta over cosine theta, and cotangent of theta is cosine theta over sine of theta, and secant times so cosecant, that's 1 over cosine theta times 1 over sine theta. So my denominator, I'm going to erase a little bit of this so I have more room, my denominator is 1 over cosine of theta sine theta. But my numerator, I need to find the LCD in order to add these two fractions. So I'm going to multiply on the right by cosine of theta over sine of cosine theta. And on the left by sine of theta over sine of theta. Because the LCD is cosine of theta sine of theta. And I get all of that over sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta. Oh! What is sine squared theta cosine squared theta? Well that is 1. So I have 1 over cosine of theta, that doesn't even look like a cosine, cosine theta sine of theta over 1 over cosine theta sine of theta so I keep my first fraction the same. I'm sure you can see where this is going. I change from division to multiplication and I flip the second fraction. So I'm left with just one because everything cancels out, which is exactly what I was hoping to find. Lastly, we have example 8. If I've got 1 minus sine of theta over cosine of theta, I need to show that that equals cosine of theta over 1 plus sine of theta. So I have 1 minus sine of theta over cosine of theta. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this by a very strategic 1, right? The very strategic one is going to be multiplying it by 1 plus sine of theta over 1 plus sine of theta. So I get 1 minus sine squared theta over cosine theta times 1 plus sine of theta. Now, it would be very tempting to factor, but don't factor. We aren't going to factor. What we need to do is substitute. Remember, sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. If I subtract sine squared theta from both sides, I get that cosine squared theta equals 1 minus sine squared theta. Now let's go ahead and substitute this back in to our function. So I have cosine squared theta over cosine theta times 1 plus sine of theta. One of my cosines is going to cancel out. So I'm left with cosine of theta over 1 plus sine of theta as desired. Lastly, let me address some guidelines for establishing identities. So first off, it's always preferable to start with the side containing the more complicated expression and get it into its simplest form. We always need to rewrite our sums or differences of quotients is a single quotient, so make sure everything that's, if we're adding fractions or subtracting fractions, they need to be written as one fraction. Sometimes it will help to rewrite one side in terms of sine and cosine functions only, and always keep your goal in mind because as you manipulate one side of the expression, you need to keep in mind what it is you're trying to get to. What do you want your final um, expression to look like? 